Hello, welcome to Catherine to Paint. If you could tell by our colors today, we are doing a some Halloween nonsense. It looks like a, a massacre has already occurred because I was mixing up the paint. You guys, you would not believe. So I was mixing up the orange first and then I spilled it. So then I scraped it back into the cup, moved it aside, cleaned up, got the red out, had a whole red, full, perfect red paint, spilled it all over myself, all over the floor, all over everything, the whole entire cup. So then I picked <laughs> the cup back up, set it here, just trying to clean up. Oh my God, it's the biggest mess ever, guys. I do not recommend it, be more careful. Just having one of those days. So, now I have the paint mixed up. See, look. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, today we are using Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange Hue. Uh, some kind of deep green. And Arteza's Mars Black, Crimson Red. And the Staller Rodney medium yellow and Amsterdam titanium white so let's get started so today I'm doing an 11 by 14 canvas with this happy Halloween um, sign that I got from the Dollar Tree I, we're gonna pour over this and then the extra paints gonna go on the canvas and then we'll move the canvas around and see if we might want to do something with that once it's dry so when I do several Halloween projects for you guys coming up. So I am I already got my paints mixed, so I am just gonna start pouring them in here. Start with the orange, red, the two evil colors that tried to take me down. Throw a little red in here. I don't want it next to the red the red though. I did throw a little green in. I do think of green a little bit when I think of Halloween. I guess because of the fall, I'm not sure. So let's see. Let's do more of the orange. Look at me putting off adding the black. You guys know I do not use much black but this is Halloween so I need to use lots of black so what's up with that let's do some more red some orange I'm gonna use a little bit of white More black. All right. This is about enough paint. Let's add a little bit more white. All right. So I did one of these signs for Easter, and it turned out really good. My daughter. Um, Snagged it for her front door immediately, and um, so it was fun. But what I learned from when I was doing that one is I was starting to zigzag on here and go from one end to the other. So I ended up with like certain colors on this side and certain colors on that side, and then I was scrambling to try to mix them back this way. So what I'm going to do is I am going to try to kind of zigzag on the dills, but I'm going to go across and then down and across and around just to kind of keep it mixed up. So it doesn't look like I poured it from one end to the other. So ooh, we got black and red coming out. Let's hit that bat. And it doesn't matter how much goes off because we've got a canvas down there. So yeah, you kind of want to run it on the letters so you get interesting patterns. This is just a fun project because Halloween is supposed to be fun. I am liking that green. 
it wasn't supposed to be a star. It was just supposed to be a filler color. Well, we've got enough on the sign, but I'm going to go ahead and pour it all out because we want to make sure we have enough for the canvas underneath. And see what I'm talking about now? I'm getting lots of orange and you don't want it all in one spot. So we're going to lift this up and before I tilt it, I'm going to go ahead and move these cups that I had set there to hold the sign. They didn't get much paint on them, so that's good. All right, so I'm just going to tilt some of the paint off of this. I got a new bottle of Floetrol and I'm feeling like it's kind of heavy. I thought I got it all to the right consistency, so we'll see how it dries, but it doesn't feel like it's flowing as good as usual. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to set this off to the side. I will give you a close up of that in a little while. Woo! I'm really being bumble, bumble fingers today. <laughs> Can't talk, can't hold on to stuff. Hmm. Y'all ever have those days? All right, I'm gonna put a little color. That ought to help it.
All right, here are the wet results on the sign. I think that's going to look really good once it is dry. So we'll come back with the dried results. Now this painting is something else. It's crazy. But I think that it'll look good with something embellished on top of it. So it can be like a background for some Halloween project that I have coming up. So there it is in its entirety. So I will be back with the dried results. All right. Here are the dried results. I have put the string back on this so it can hang. I think that'll be fun. I like how it turned out. I got all the colors in it. It's kind of wild. There we go. All right, so the painting is really, really busy. <laughs> really busy. So it's a bit much, I don't know. But there it is. I want to embellish it, so I am taking ideas for this Halloween painting. It's 11 by 14, and don't even know which direction I want it. Depends on what I embellish it with. Hmm. So, there's different directions. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Be inspired.